there is no pill for every ill but there is an ill following every pill every pain killer every pain killer from an ordinary paracetamol to vioxx has got so much of side effects that if one can get a heart attack in the next 5 years you just taking paracetamol i was told i have to check on this fact the parsis keep their dead bodies on the top you know the vultures and lot of vultures recently have died in bombay i believe dissected vultures showed lot of paracetamol inside their bodies because old people you know take lot of painkillers and then their body is full of paracetamol there they taken up in a small country like england 2500 people died last year of paracetamol poisoning not large doses even one one pill of paracetamol is enough it is not dose related and damages the the kidney and damages the liver directly one of the common causes of kidney dialysis transplants is nsaid induced kidney disease is called pain killer nephropathy i'm just talking a one so every pill has an ill but quantum healing has nothing because you're not putting in anything your own body corrects itself if you want as a layman to read know what it is there's a nice book read it it's called quantum doctor quantum doctor of course if you want to quickly know what it is you go to the internet and put my name and say quantum healing you get an article you can read it but this is a nice book written by a professor of quantum physics in the university of eugene in oregon he is an indian a big quantum physicist amit goswami his name is amit a m i t goswami is a beautiful book a small book a readable book understandable book and you will know how to cure yourself of many ills only thing is you need patience ayurveda knew this thousands of years ago said the beautifully said this is a start in the mind and end in the mind and where is the mind never mind it's everywhere it's everywhere in every cell of your body the mind is there even outside there is mind and today we know quantum physics non locality if i want to convey something in my mind to your mind i can do that experiment show that i can induce a wave with electrically stimulated wave what's called an induced wave in my brain i can pass it on to your brain that is how the mystics pass on their ideas to others that's how in the olden days the great teachers passed on their ideas to their students and this is possible because it is non locality everything happens at every you intensely want to talk to somebody your relative maybe in boston you intensely really intend to talk something and you can't get it you will be surprised within 24 hours either that man or woman will contact you or you will get a phone call or some sort of a thing is called telepathy which today science says transmutation tele tele mutation you can convey an idea from one place to another place without any conventional methods of communication and without loss of time that's the most beautiful thing it immediately happens when a photon uh, is jumping about here another photon counterpart will be jumping about in in the persons i have a friend of mine in london that man so beautifully times my you know he talks to me twice a day wherever i am and that he has to talk every day twice and he times it in such a way today for example i just came from bangalore and i got in the airport came to my hotel checked into my room he rings me up then i said line how did you do that i don't know i got an intuition that you are in the room so i'm ringing your room he will i told him which hotel i am staying he will immediately go to google and find out about the hotel i didn't know the number of the hotel myself but as as getting into the room open the door got into the room he rings up and this happens day in and day out every day and it twice a day he rings me up this is called telepathy this is very interesting and body can now my friend was saying that i have to take vitamin d vitamin c as my friend that uh, you know co q q and things like that your body knows all that it can transmute anything to anything supposing your your magnesium is lacking it can take sodium and make it into magnesium what happens is we know a few things we know a few chemical reactions but in the cell in one cell in one minute there are three million reactions occur and we won't be able to control that that's why in the intensive care unit a lot of people are sent to heaven by us because we just have a few parameters we try to adjust that and that goes haywire 
But when the body wants, it can transmute anything to anything. This is called transmutation. And such a beautiful thing. You want sodium, sodium will come. You want potassium, potassium will come. And everything will happen on its own, provided you don't too much interfere from outside. That's why Ayurveda says, Hita, Mita, Ahara, Sevi. This is your future for how to... Mita, Hita means what you love. Don't say, oh, that's this and this is fried, that is this and that's cholesterol. That is self-stress. Kills you. Nothing. You like something, eat it. But Mita, anything in moderation is okay. Even poison is okay. You know, if you get a heart attack and come to us, do you know what we give? Rat poison. What is warfare in rat poison? Only small dose, that's all. If you give a bigger dose, the rat will bleed and die. If I give you a small dose, your blood will be fluid so that it doesn't clot. That's why we check your blood every now and then because you may bleed somewhere. I still remember my professor in Scotland used to put a board when first warfarin came to think. No rat poison in my ward. He never allowed that. Till he died, he never allowed warfarin to come to his ward. And there's a beauty of it. So what I'm saying is, Anything in moderation is okay. Hita, mita, ahara, sevi. Samikshakari, work very hard. Nobody has died of working. Nobody has died of working. If you love your work, you can work very hard. If you hate your work, you will die overworking. That's what happens in the IT industry. The boys and girls don't like the work. The same repetition, same thing, you know, you just, that's no innovation, no creativity, nothing. America has given something, you just go on producing it day in and day out and then there's no 9 to 5 job, you are given a project that is about 3, you know, a whole day, night sometimes and the parents think, you know, it's very nice because they are given a hotel. They are given a hotel because they can't go home at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the night. So, this is kind of a job. When you hate your job, you kill yourself. When you love your job, work very hard. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Actually, you be improve. Then what I say? Samikshakari, work very hard. Data, be a giver. You know, when you give something to somebody, you are very happy. When you receive something from somebody, you think, why didn't they give a better one? What is this? Supposing, you know, let's say you, you now gave me one lakh rupees, let's say, for lecturing. A lot of people take a lot of money for lecturing. Then I think, these are big organizations. Why didn't they give two lakhs? Why only one lakh? Supposing I am able to give somebody five rupees. I am so happy because I have given something. Tata. Then Samaha. Remember, this is a very important thing for health. Treat people equally because all men are alike. All are born alike. All are going to die alike. Why in this difference? Supposing you are the prime minister of the country, your opportunity was there. I am not the prime. I didn't have the opportunity. So why should I worry about that? So it says Samaha. It's a very interesting concept, I tell you. I developed this concept when I was a dean of a medical school. A lot of these boys and girls love one another in the college. You don't know. And then they come sometimes to you if you are a very compassionate uh, teacher. They yes, sir. This boy I love, sir. Do you think he is okay, sir? I can marry him. He's a reliable boy. I tell him, young lady, I know him from 9 to 5. But 5 to 9, I don't know what he does. <laughs> don't rely on my judgment. In the evening, you take him for a cup of tea in a big restaurant in the town. When he goes there, the manager is there. He says, hi, sir. How are you? How is today? Have it been nice? And then he goes and sits in the table. There's a little dirt there. And he calls the boy. Hey, come here. Clean it. Don't marry that man. He treats people differently. The manager is, hi, sir. And the boy is, hey, come. Don't marry him. Unreliable. He is not Samaha. He is not Satyapara. Because you know what happens? If you are not, if you are, see, you must simply know that we all came here together, nothing. Our ingress into this world, said D.H. Lawrence, was naked and bare, nothing. You didn't have an underwear. Our progress in this world is trouble, but care. Our egress from this world will be nobody knows where. If you do well here, you will do well there. So you don't have to worry. All that you do is do something here for others. Touch another life. And this philosophy is so good for health. Emerson said, Life is not to make money and amass wealth. Life is to live honestly, authentically. And life is to touch another life to show to the world that you have not only lived well, but you have let others live well too. I have a formula. Each one, at least reach one. At least one. One life. If you have made one life happy, you will be happy. A lot of people come to ask me, Sir, I am not happy. What do I do? 
ఐ టెల్ దెమ్ వెరీ ఈజీ హ్యాపీనెస్ ఇస్ లైక్ ఎ మిర్రర్ యూ హిట్ ఇట్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ బ్యాక్ మేక్ సమ్ వన్ హ్యాపీ యూ విల్ బి హ్యాపీ ఆటోమేటికలీ ఇఫ్ హ్యాపీనెస్ ఇస్ వాట్ యూ గివ్ అవే హ్యాపీనెస్ ఇస్ వాట్ కమ్స్ బ్యాక్ ఈచ్ డే సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు బి హ్యాపీ డోంట్ థింక్ యూ విల్ బి హ్యాపీ వెన్ యూ బికమ్ ద ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఆర్ వెన్ యూ బికమ్ ద బిగ్ మ్యాన్ వెన్ యూ బికమ్ ద ఎమ్మెల్యే ఆర్ ఎంపి నో యూ విల్ నాట్ బి హ్యాపీ యూ విల్ బి అన్హ్యాపీ you will be happy when you make another person happy this is the principle of the environment so friends let us build another generation with a healthy mind so that all hospitals and clinics can close but don't we need doctors we do need doctors because the doctor is a must to guide you to really take you in the right path and because you can't know all of medicine a doctor is supposed to know and he is supposed to help you that's why i say every person must have a family doctor and a family doctor must be your friend philosopher and guide and must know you must love you is it done very good i am done to what's the message if you want to be healthy develop a healthy mind and a healthy mind is an insurance for continued health and absence of disease thank you very much thank you so much sir. thank you so much thank you so much can i please uh, dr sir just one second dr sir we would like to felicitate you please can i please invite vishyan stage to felicitate dr